What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dat Bat Sesh. Today's episode is probably going to be a pretty quick one. I just want to talk about my situation a little bit. I don't really have a lot of medicine or anything right now. But, um, I don't want anyone to be worrying too much about me, I guess. Because, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know what my housing situation was going to be like for a while, but... I got it figured out a little bit. Basically, the goal now, I'm living in a mobile home that's rent to own, but it's pretty cheap, so I should be able to swing it. And uh, the plan is to pay off this cheap mobile home and then hitch it to my truck and drive up north where the average temperature is not more than 100 freaking degrees. <laughs> Oh, and I'm actually hurting really bad right now. If you follow my Instagram, you know I got in a fist fight the other day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> life has just seriously not given me a break for like five, six solid months now. <laughs> uh, but... You know, you have to make the best of any shitty situation, no matter what it is, but, um... So, yeah, right now, my camera, my... or my... the camera on my phone... My $30 phone, mind you, is all I have to record on right now. Everything else I own, basically, that's worth anything is in storage except my Mav class Klein Recycler. You could actually see kind of, yeah. See, that's my dime bag. It's a protective, <laughs> a protective bong case. And yeah, the Mav glass goes with me. And I just slapped it. It's not in there right now. <laughs> uh, I just slapped the bag and yeah, there's nothing actually in there. So don't worry guys. Uh, But okay, where was I? I? I got in a fist fight. You could probably see some marks on my face. I didn't, I mean, I got hurt, but I don't think I really lost the fight, like, super badly. You know, both parties walked away, and I, I defended my face pretty well, honestly. I, I did... <laughs> As you can see, I caught a few, but um, I did a decent job, and I was also actually wearing this pendant at the time, so I'm super freaking glad it didn't break. It cost me 150 bucks from a smoke shop a little while back, so that would have been pretty harsh to get hurt and freaking lose my pendant. So, yeah, just show. It is 100% intact. It got less hurt than I did, for sure. But uh, at some point, I got kicked right, right in this rib. Right here, just below, like, my lower left, or just low below my left peck. And I can move around decent. But, I have had a hairline fracture on a, one of my ribs before, and that most definitely is what this is. It hurts. It hurts. And when I actually, like, breathe in deep enough, I can feel that, that crack expanding, and it just... Yeah, it, it, I have a hairline fracture on my rib. I'm smiling and happy and whatnot now because I'm, you know, a little bit medicated, but, um, yeah, that comes at a price because coughing hurts, you guys, so bad. It feels like my rib is puncturing my lung as I cough, so... 
But yeah, at some point in the fight, I got kicked so hard right there that I flew into the air, like, at least two feet up and two feet back. It took me off my feet, and I landed on my back. On my Instagram, you could see a picture of my left shoulder. I don't really want to spin all the way around, take my shirt off, all that crap. If you're interested, you could look at my Instagram, but... I thought my fingers might be broken at first, too, but... No, they're just... They're just pretty messed up. Almost every one of them has some sort of a gash on it, so... Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got beat up, but I'm not that <laughs> that much worse for wear, honestly. And I just wanted everyone to know that I'm not homeless. <laughs> but the computer and the webcam that I normally record on are in storage, so I, j I need to figure out what to do with that. I can't even... Okay, <laughs> the mobile home right now doesn't have air conditioning, and where I live, I refuse to put my computer into here because shit will just fry. Trust me. It is so insanely freaking hot, and then when you go inside of any sort of building, it's like 10 degrees hotter when there's no air conditioning, so. The storage that the computers are in is air conditioned, so I'm just, I'm trying to figure out that whole situation. And yeah, you guys know life has been hard for me recently. I'm just trying to deal with it, make the best of it I can and work hard to make sure my life doesn't get worse, you know what I mean? You can't just not do, you can't just sit back with a messed up life and expect better things to happen. It's just gonna get more and more messed up unless you actually work on it. So believe me, you guys, I have been working really hard on straightening my freaking life out. Because the last six months damn near killed me. <laughs> I'm starting to ramble now, but I've said multiple times I'll explain why I was kicked out of my apartment and other things a little bit in the future. And yeah, that's not going to be this video. I'm already starting to ramble, so... I want to show, this is just... A cheap ass pipe. I think it was like seven bucks or something. A ditch pipe. But I mean, it does change blue when you smoke out of it, so. <laughs> it's a color changer. That's something, I guess. Anyways, I got a little. just a bowl left in this right now of. It's actually Jorge's Diamond number one, which. If anyone knows, Jorge Cervantes wrote the Grow Bible, and he stabilized a few strains, and those strains are really rare and really good, because the dude knows his shit. And yeah, this is like a half cash bowl. I already took a couple hits out of it, and it's all I have left at the moment, so I, I apologize for that, but... I'm just making do, so thanks for listening to my rambling, you guys. Let's take a hit and actually have a sesh. Cheers. I have a little fan that's pointed right at me. It just... <laughs> annihilated that smoke before it <laughs> and and yeah that's already cash so <sighs> just 
stay tuned you guys keep showing that support you guys i appreciate it so much it's definitely the reason i keep doing this i just love you all <laughs> i wish i knew you guys and could interact in real life one-on-one -on -one, because i really need to meet some good people and have good people in my life so I can make it better, but <laughs> anyways, you know, that's kind of, that's one of the reasons I'm doing the channel is that the people I know in real life are not good, like, yeah, <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying, <laughs> uh, throughout my entire life, that, the only people who've ever supported me are basically my subscribers on YouTube. I guess my followers on Instagram show me love quite a bit. And then my deceased mother. And that's it. All my siblings are... F I, I'm just... Okay, I, I'm not going to start on this. That That's a whole nother can of worms. Just know that YouTube is my family. My blood family, yeah, YouTube, you're where it at, you're my real fam, so just please stay tuned for my next videos, stay high.